I think this may be a mullen plant, although it might also be lamb's ear or something else. I found it next to my driveway on 20 October 2016 at my house near Albany, New York, USA. Inside the plant were lots of thin, dark bugs, which I think are thrips. They look similar to the bugs in these pictures, which the comments on this website, bugguide.net, classify as thrips. There's actually a species of thrips called mullen thrips, so maybe that's what these are, but I don't know. This page says, quote, This species is called the mullen thrips because it is particularly plentiful throughout the year in the heart of mullen plants. Black in color, except for light areas along abdominal segment lines, it measures less than 3 millimeters in length, end quote. This study says, quote, Densities and types of arthropods overwintering on common mullen, Verboscum thapsus L, in a fruit-growing region of central Washington, were determined. Over 45,000 arthropods were collected from 55 plants, five plants from each of 11 sites, dominated numerically by Acari and Thysanoptera. Insects representing eight orders and 29 families were identified, distributed both in the basal leaf rosettes and in the stalk material of the plants. One specialist insect herbivore of mullen, the mullen thrips, was abundant at all sites. Several pest and predatory taxa that commonly occur in orchards were also collected, suggesting that mullen may be a source of overwintered pests or predators moving into orchards in early spring. End quote. Here's the top part of Table 1 from the study. You can see that thrips, order Thysanoptera, comprise two-thirds of all arthropods in the rosettes, with an average of 1,266.9 in five plants, or about 250 thrips per plant. Keep in mind that this study looked at arthropod numbers in December and January, whereas my footage is from October. Here you can see my housemate's garden in front of a hayfield. This footage is from 18 October 2016. I found another hairy plant of the same type near this garden with lots of thrips on it as well. The Wikipedia article on common mullen says, quote, Common mullen is a species of mullen native to Europe, northern Africa, and Asia, and introduced in the Americas and Australia. It grows in a wide variety of habitats, but prefers well-lit, disturbed soils where it can appear soon after the ground receives light from long-lived seeds that persist in the soil seed bank. It is a common weedy plant that spreads by prolifically producing seeds, but it rarely becomes aggressively invasive since its seeds require open ground to germinate." End quote. The hairy plants that might be mullen that were near my driveway were growing in soil that had been dug up last year in order to exhume an internet cable in the ground. The Wikipedia article on thrips says, quote, Thrips species feed on a large variety of plants and animals by puncturing them and sucking up the contents. A large number of thrips species are considered pests because they feed on plants with commercial value. Thrips are generally tiny, one millimeter long or less, and are not good flyers, although they can be carried long distances by the wind. While poorly documented, chemical communication is believed to be important to the group. Anal secretions are produced in the hindgut and released along the posterior CT as predator deterrents. End quote. This page adds, quote, Thrips have several generations, up to about eight a year. When the weather is warm, the life cycle from egg to adult may be completed 
in as short a time as two weeks, end quote. Finally, here are two unrelated invertebrates that I found on the ground next to the hairy plant near the garden. Now here's a snippet of a video from YouTube. This video shows a lacewing eating thrips larvae.